Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how reinforcement learning differs from supervised and unsupervised machine learning technique. These are some of the differences between reinforcement learning and supervised machine learning technique. In reinforcement learning, we don't have any supervisor or you can say that there is nothing called as a labeled data set. Because of this particular thing, a reinforcement learning uh, has to get experience from the uh, actions, whatever the agent performs. Based on that particular experience, it will learn the model in this case. But when it comes to supervised machine learning model, we have a supervisor or you can say that the label data. With the help of this particular data, the model is uh, trained and there is one supervisor to say whether this particular model is working fine or not in this case. Coming back to the second difference, the decisions in reinforcement learning are dependent and are made sequentially. That is whenever you want to go from the initial state to goal state, the initial state to goal state will be done as sequentially that is state by state. You will go from one state to other state, other state to next state and finally you will reach that particular goal state over here. So that's the reason it is called as sequentially in this case. But when it comes to supervised learning technique, once the training is done, the new examples are classified uh, independent of other new examples over here. So the decisions are independent of each other in supervised machine learning technique here. When it comes to reinforcement learning, the feedback for a particular, uh, uh, you can say that uh, the action is not available immediately. For example, if you want to go from uh, initial state to goal state, unless and until you reach that particular goal state you are not going to get the uh, feedback here whether you have reached the goal state or you have not reached the goal state so that feedback is not uh, available instantaneously it is delayed by time in reinforcement learning but when it comes to this uh, supervised learning uh, usually the feedback is instantaneous uh, once the model is uh, created for example you have trained your model and you want to classify the new example you get just give that particular new example to the model the model will give you the result in that particular case that is instantaneously over here that too independent of other new examples in this case now agent action affects the next input data that is uh, whatever the agent has taken an action at a time t that will affects the next uh, input data that is the action he will perform in a t plus one because uh, whatever the action he has performed in t if it is uh, getting a positive reward the meaning is uh, he will continue in the next step or if it's getting a negative reward he may take some different uh, action in that particular case in a supervised learning uh, the initial input whatever we give to the model that is the training data how the new data will be classified and so on in this particular case uh, in this case there are no target values are available only it is a goal oriented that is uh, we know the initial state and we know the goal and uh, we have to identify an optimal path uh, to reach that particular goal state over here in this case we have a target class uh, predefined uh, because of that we can say whether the model is uh, correct or wrong with the help of this particular predefined uh, target classes in the given data set over here the examples for reinforcement learning is uh, we can use reinforcement learning to implement or design a chess or a go game as well as to design the robots uh, when it comes to supervised learning we can use it for uh, classification kind of uh, problems for example i want to classify uh, whether that particular object is uh, x or object is y or i want to de detect a particular object i want to detect a face in such kind of applications we can use supervised learning in this case now we will try to see the difference between uh, reinforcement learning and unsupervised learning in machine learning the very first uh, difference uh, in between reinforcement and unsupervised learning is in the reinforcement learning mapping from input to output is present that is we know the in initial state and we know the goal state over here but when it comes to unsupervised learning there is no mapping as such we don't have any mapping whatever the data is given to us with the help of that particular data we have to categorize that particular data into different clusters over here uh, maybe uh, we can use the uh, distance measure so that we can identify the similarity between the data points and then we will come up with uh, uh, the different clusters over here but as such there is no mapping from input to output over here uh, in uh, reinforcement learning uh, we will get feedback from the environment 
you, you may not get the feedback immediately but you will get uh, delayed feedback at least that is uh, when you reach the goal state you will get a positive uh, feedback and if you don't reach the goal state but if you reach the danger or something like that you will get a negative feedback over here but when it comes to unsupervised learning we will never get the feedback over here uh, we have to consider the inherent uh, properties of that particular data set and then we need to classify that uh, create a clusters for that particular data uh, based on those particular patterns over here so we will never get any feedback from the environment in unsupervised learning technique over here so in this video i have discussed what are the difference between reinforcement learning and supervised machine learning technique as well as what are the different uh, differences are there between reinforcement learning and unsupervised machine learning technique i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates Thank you for watching.